What's going on YouTube, Just no right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak on the A12, A13 devices and even other devices running iOS 13.3 and lower. A new TFP0 kernel exploit has been achieved by this guy in here which is a security researcher and apparently if you take a look at the video posted he demonstrates the fact that he is running in fact iOS 13.3 and he opens an application in there as you can see from the uh, video to demonstrate that he does have iOS 13 is the news application here and then of course he runs that application iOS test 7 which obtains TFP0 in there. You can see that the log presents the fact that he got TFP0 and also a test read on the kernel memory. After that you can see that he demonstrates the fact that the news application is now crashing, is no longer opening up and he shows the crash log in there. So this basically shows the fact that he does have TFP0 on iOS 13.3 iPhone XS Max. He posted this in here which means that the A12 devices are supported and if the A12 12 devices are supported, the A13 devices are supported as well because there is not a major difference. The only difference between the A12 and A13 devices and the rest of the devices, for example the iPhone 10, 8, 7 and so on, is that the A13 and A12 have PAC or pointer authentication codes which you need to bypass in order to be able to create a proper jailbreak which on those devices, the iPhone 10 and lower, you don't need to do. Now as you probably know the iOS 13.3 is currently the latest signed version available so if this gets released this would mean that we can get a jailbreak for the latest version available. He did put a hashtag for jailbreak so it means that he might be releasing this in the future though we do not know for the moment. However if this gets released we will be able to update the uncovered jailbreak to support the A12 devices and the A13 devices which are the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR and the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro on iOS 13.3 and lower which means iOS 13.3, 13.2.3, 13.2.2 all the way down to 13.0. Coolstar might also be able to update the Chimera jailbreak for those of you who are still interested in it and of course for those of you who want to use the Cilio because as you probably know the Chimera jailbreak comes with Cilio not with Cydia. If you want Cydia you go with the Uncover which comes with Cydia and allows you to install other package managers for example Zebra and Scilly and so on with no problem. Now currently the Uncover only supports iOS 11.0 all the way up to iOS 12.4.1 regardless of what it says in here and you're able to jailbreak the A12 devices however if this gets released in here we might be able to jailbreak 13.3 and lower on A12 and A13 devices, including the iPhone XS Max demonstrated in here. So this is going to be very, very big if it gets released. Now you're going to probably ask me whether this is real or not. Well, it looks like it could definitely be real because the uh, developer in here is followed by a lot of security researchers in the iOS community, including Pawn himself. So he seems to be trusted. Now there is no word on any release for the moment, so we will probably have to wait for iOS 13.3 to stop being signed. But uh, as you probably know 13.3.1 is already in beta. So yeah, once that happens we will probably get a release because this is how it usually works if he goes with the uh, responsible disclosure. He submits the bug to Apple, Apple fixes the bug in a newer version which of course it cannot be 13.3 since the bug is available in there and once we get a new version for example 13.3.1 which fixes the bug and of course once 13.3 is no longer signed he will be able to release the exploit with no problem and apparently this will support A12 and A13 device devices as well, which means that we can use it for the uncover. As you probably know, for the rest of the devices, the iPhone 10 and lower, there is already a jailbreak, the Checkrain jailbreak, which supports all iOS 13.x versions, including 12.x and so on. But the Checkrain jailbreak doesn't support the A12 devices and neither does it support the A13. So this exploit in here would basically save the people with the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. So yeah, that's pretty much it about this guys, thank you for watching, if you are interested in this bug, subscribe to stay updated. I will keep you updated once it gets released and whether it gets released or if we get any news about the vulnerability behind it. But yeah, till the next time, I'm Geo Snow and peace out.